And with those calls for a ceasefire, good evening, I'm Lisa Carber. I'm Dennis House, thanks for joining us. The Connecticut Council on American Islamic Relations is calling on the federal government to demand a ceasefire in the Middle East. This as the war between Israel and Hamas intensifies. News aides Bob Wilson is in Hartford with what they are demanding tonight. So two Connecticut families met with Senator Chris Murphy and they told him the stories of death and tragedy in the Gaza Strip. Then afterwards, they went outside his office and held a news conference. Palestinian families stood outside Senator Murphy's office holding pictures of their loved ones that have been killed in the Gaza Strip, including two doctors at a hospital. You know, Sun never rose for Dr. Basil Mehdi. The sun never rose for Dr. Raid Mehdi, his wife and his seven children. My brother-in-law's family was bombed, killing him, um, killing his brother, his wife, and their grandson. Senator Murphy met with the families and the head of the Council on American Islamic Relations to hear their stories. In Senator Murphy's uh, opinion, uh, Hamas does have to be uh, eliminated. Uh, how the Israelis and the Americans uh, do that uh, with the minimal loss to civilian uh, casualties is, I think, what he's trying to uh, puzzle through. Senator Murphy's office released a statement saying, quote, since Hamas's horrific attack on Israel on October 7th, Senator Murphy and members of his staff have consistently engaged with members of the Jewish and Muslim communities in Connecticut, as well as the families of those being held hostage by Hamas and families who have lost loved ones in Gaza. David Warren is the president and CEO of the Jewish Federation of Greater Hartford. He also calls the loss of life a tragedy. What's happening to the people of Gaza is a tragedy, but the tragedy is caused solely by Hamas, which launched this genocidal attack, aligned with their charter, which calls for the complete elimination of Israel. Care has also asked to meet with other Connecticut lawmakers. In Hartford, Bob Wilson, News 8.